If you've been wondering for the longest time on how to get Sandbox early, then look no further. Fair warning, this game is still very early in development, and if you do have the chance and get lucky enough to get access to the game, understand that this may not be exactly a lot to do in terms for you to play, as it's still within the closed beta stage. There's two methods to getting access to Sandbox, the easy yet painful method, or the more difficult and also painful method. The easy method is through the Developer Preview Torture Service. With this method, you have to go to the asset.party website. Yes, this is literally the exact same URL you need to type in. At the top, you'll see a message saying, looks like you don't have the game, so you won't be able to create organizations. You can click here to get the game right now, which is slightly true. Once you click on it, you'll be taken to a page with a whole bunch of pictures from Steam users and a whole bunch of numbers and icons. Let's start from left, moving on to the right. The first is a key and a number five, meaning there's only five keys that will be given out once the timer ends. The next is a clock and a time countdown. This will let you know how long it will be before the next five people are chosen from a pool of existing users that have entered this raffle. Next to the countdown is a person icon and a number. Depending on what you see, this is exactly how many people have entered into the raffle and visible on the page. And finally, there's an eye icon and a number next to it. Basically, it's just showing how many people are viewing the page but are not entered into the raffle. There is a final icon that's kind of hidden, but only appears when the countdown is finished. Basically, it will appear and then roll and create an RNG choice between five out of how many ever people are within the raffle. You can see the name next to the dice icon as it will choose five people, then reset back to its six hour default wait time until it's finished. In terms of keys given out, the number mentioned was around 20 keys per day, as it resets every 6 hours or so. For the best method to getting a key is really taking a chance with fate and luck. As I mentioned previously, it's a complete random numbers game. If you clicked enter and then proceeded to close the tab, you'll be removed from the raffle as you're disconnecting from the page entirely. So make sure to click enter and then leave the tab open and proceed to play a game, get some coffee, or even go outside and touch grass before you return back to check and see if you won. If you won, you'll end up having access to the game when you type in sandbox into your Steam game library search. The second method is through the face punch forms. Now again, while I'm not exactly a developer and probably a good chunk of other people who have access currently to sandbox, are probably not developers either, this next section will be way more short in description as I'm rather limited on exactly knowing everything that makes this method work, but rather just another option and specifically for developers and people who really feel like they'd love to show their creative skills, regardless of coding, but within modeling, artwork, etc. You will have to make an account on form.facepunch.com and then go to the sandbox section once you're done. From there, you should see a section called sandbox key application dash megathread. Now I'm going to say this properly as this is a way more painful method, but you have to post your reasoning, possibly with screenshots or proof of work of what you've done either in the past or currently. This next part is slightly speculation, but it has been rumored that face punch gives access to developers who submitted through this form in waves. I do not know exactly when they do this on a frequent basis or how many times as again, it's speculation. Aside from that, just as the previous method, if you get granted access, most likely you'll end up getting it within the Steam library and maybe an updated response to your post on the form, but take the response to post part with a grain of salt. Hopefully with all this information, depending on what method you choose best, Please again remember that this game is still very early, and while it's not out yet, getting early access may seem fun and exciting, but can also be disappointing if you're going in with extremely high expectations. It's not a finished game, it's a work in progress. Either way, hopefully this information has helped you on your journey to maybe getting a sandbox early access key. Otherwise, if you're more interested in sandbox and you're in the waiting process, there's a ton of games that I've covered and played that you need to check out right here. Hopefully this helps, and thank you for watching. Oh hey, hey, listen, I have a couple of seconds before the video ends. If you really like what you've seen, check out my channel. And if you have a need for a dopamine rush and have severe ADHD like me, I also have YouTube shorts and other stuff on my channel too. Uh, check it out, alright? Okay, bye!